speaking to you from Yankee Stadium in New York, where we're just about set for the start of the second game of the doubleheader between the Yankees and Washington. The first game went to the Senators in a thriller, 2-1. to one. In the second game, Ralph Carey goes against Pedro Ramos of the Washington Senators. Quickly, here are the starting lineup. The game sent to you by the Atlantic Refining Company and your neighborhood Atlantic dealer and T. Valentine and Sons of Newark, New Jersey. For Washington, Allison in right. Lenny Green in left. Billy Gardner at second. Julio Becker at first. Armin Killebrew at third. Dan Dobeck in left. Earl Batty catching. Billy Consolo at shortstop. And Pedro Ramos pitching. For the Yankees, Kubek at short. Lopez in left. Serve is not starting in the second game. Mantle in center. Farah catching. Roger Maris in right. Bill Scourin, first base. Gil McDougal at third. Bobby Richardson at second. And Ralph Carey pitching. Carey and Barra for the Yankees. Ramos and Batty for Washington. Bob Allison, the star of the first game of the doubleheader, leads off, takes the first pitch, Checks his swing. It's in high for ball one. Allison made two tremendous catches in the first game of the doubleheader that saved uh, two or three runs and drove in for the home run, one of the two Washington runs, and they needed both of them. There's a pop foul out of play, and the count is one ball and one strike. One of the catches that uh, Allison made truly deserved the descriptive word of a great one. Certainly saved the home run. Then he pulled one out near the Washington bullpen for a home run. They put the Senators ahead one to nothing. They picked up another run in the eighth, and the Yankees got one back in the bottom of the inning, but that was all the scoring. Two to one. Washington won. There's a pop foul that's out of play, and the count goes to one ball and two strikes. Allison leading off with Green and Gardner to follow here in the top of the first inning second game of the doubleheader as the fans are just now beginning to file back into their seats. Very few wanted to get up and get their uh, hot dogs during any part of that first game. There's a curve that's high. Ball two and strike two. And there's a fine Memorial Day crowd here today. Upwards, I would think, of 40,000 plus. A ball two and strike two count to lead off hitter Bob Allison. Very deliberate on the mound. Gets set for the 2-2 pitch. Curve swung on. Hit on the ground to shortstop. Kubek picks the ball up. Fires the first in time. And there's one away. Allison out. Short to first. Lenny Green steps to the plate. A left-handed batter. As Cookie Lavagetto goes to uh, a bit of a left-handed lineup. Now let's pick up Mel Allen as Lenny Green into the plate, hitting an even 200. Green scored the winning run in the opener, but only as a runner for Val de Bielsa, who was hit by a pitched ball. Curveball in there, strike one. Al Smith calling balls and strikes. Ed Rungi umpiring at first base. Joe Paparella at second. Johnny Rice at third. McDougal shortened up at third. Ralph Jerry's delivery. High fastball, one and one. Next delivery outside, ball two. Gardner batting 297. Gardner was nothing for four in the first game. Terry's 
pitch swung on and missed. Strike one. Lopez and left. Mantle in center. Maris and right. Serve getting a rest. Now the delivery over the outside corner for a strike. Two strikes. And the pitch. High and inside. One and two. One ball. Two strikes to count. Next delivery. Swung on and fouled off to the left of the plate. Remains one and two. Outfield straight away. Ralph Terry swings to the wind up, and the pitch is swung on, lined over second to right center for a base hit. Mantle goes over, cuts the ball off, and whips his throw back into Kubek to hold. Gardner to a single. Now Julio Becker. Batting 266. He had one for four in the opener, a double. Armin Killebrew on deck. Jim Lemon getting a rest in this game. The pitch is a curve inside, ball one. Yankees play Baltimore the next three days, next three nights. They'll run into a nest of uh, high-flying Orioles. Our airtime will be 7.55. Now the pitch, outside, ball two, two nothing. Throw to first, Gardner's back. Three, three, nothing. Three, nothing count on back air. Ralph Terry's pitch is in there. Strike one, green one. to the runner. The 3-1 pitch is high for ball four. Becker walks. Gardner moves to second, and here's Harmon Killebrew. For a while, as if Terry might get by his first inning. For some reason or other, he just uh, had a lot of first inning uh, trouble. Here's Harmon Killebrew, nothing for four in the opener. Finds two men aboard with two down now in the first inning. Ralph Terry's pitch inside, ball one. Dan Dobeck on deck.
Bartlett leads off second. Becker off first. Jerry ready. And the pitch to Killebrew outside. Ball two, two and nothing. Two balls, no strikes. Terry ready. The pitch to Killebrew. Swung on line out into left field, and it's in there for a base hit. Here comes Gardner around third to score. Becker stops at second. It's one to nothing, Washington. So with two down, the Senators attack. And now Dan Dobek comes up. Dobek in the first game had one for four. to nothing Washington with two outs a single a walk and a single have given the Senators a run first time they've scored in this series before the uh, sixth inning here's the pitch and it's inside for a ball one to nothing Earl Batty on deck. A one nothing count on the left hand hitter and the pitch is swung on and hit foul down the first baseline. One one the count. The last time out the Tigers got four runs and the first inning off Terry. And against Cleveland, he gave up a run the first inning. Time before that. Here's the pitch, and it's low, two and one. So he won that one four to two. by the first inning against Cleveland May 12. Here's the pitch and the curve inside three and one. Ralph Terry after retiring the first two batters given up a single a walk a single one run in two men on and a three one count on Dobek. lead away from first and second and pitch the left hand batter in there strike two full count <laughs> back there and Killebrew will be off and running there they go, and the pitch is swung on and fouled down the first baseline. on and missed strike three and the sides retired one run two hits no errors and two left on then the first half of the first inning Washington one and New York coming to bat the big, big taste of Valentine Ale. The big, big taste that comes from Brewer's Gold, a rare strain of hops used exclusively in Valentine's own true ale recipe. At home or at your favorite restaurant, you'll find Valentine Ale is more than a thirst quencher, different than any beer. Try Valentine Ale. See what a difference an ale makes. Oh, that's Valentine. 
the genuine. Hail with Brewers Gold. I'd like to remind the fans up around the Binghamton area about the fact that tonight at 6.30 at Johnson Field in Binghamton, the Springfield Giants will play the triplets in a doubleheader. There'll be two games at Johnson Field in Binghamton tonight at 6.30 p.m. Binghamton versus Springfield, Eastern League Baseball at Johnson Field. Tony Kubek leads off for the Yankees in the bottom of the first, Washington leading one to nothing. Pete Ramos. Into the windup on the first pitch. Right in for a called strike. Ramos lost his first five ball games. Three to two. Three to two. Three to nothing. One to nothing. And three to one. Tough losses. Pitch is low. He turned around to win three to two and five to two. One ball, one strike. The delivery swung on, grounded uh, through into right field for a base hit, just out of the reach of Gardner going to his left. Kubek singles to right. He has a great percentage of leading off in a game with a base hit. Hector Lopez, who was hitless in five times at bat in the first game. yesterday's game. Ramos to the stretch and the pitch swung on. There's a high drive into short right center. Lenny Green under it makes the catch and there's one down. Mickey Mantle in the first game had one for three. Scored the Yankees uh, only run. Batting 246. Batting left handed, of course, against Ramos. The pitch swung on to high fly ball into right field. Allison getting under it makes the catch. Two down. And here's Yogi Berra, who pinch hit in the first game, was purposely passed. And down one to nothing Washington first inning pitch to Yogi outside ball one outfield toward right and center and right a little bit to left center and left the pitch is in there strike one one and one the pitch to Yogi. Outside, ball two, two and one. Whitey Ford and Jerry Walker will hook up tomorrow night in Baltimore. The two-one pitch to Barra. Outside for ball three, three and one. One strike. Two down. And the 3-1 pitch. Swung on. Hit into left center. 
Lenny Green getting over to cut the ball off as two back round second heads to third and Yogi's held to a single. Barra singles to left center. And the batter now is Roger Maris. Hitting 313. Maris hit for James in the ninth inning and walk in the opener. Yankees stranded 12 men in the first game, eight of them in the last three innings. Put nine men on the last three innings and scored only one. And they got a two-out situation here. The delivery in there, strike one. Playing Maris to pull, of course, and they give him a lot of left field. Kukulavagetto is getting now, getting Lenny Green now to play straight away. In center. Here's the pitch. Swung on, there's a high drive into right center. Allison moves over under it and makes the catch and the sides retired. No runs, two hits, no errors, and two men left on. That makes it total now. Uh, ten men, the Yankees are left on base and their last four innings at bat. They've got an eight hit. Scored one run. The um, score at the end of the first inning of the second game, one to nothing Senators. Senators won the opener two to one. Making their four hits count in the first game. Allison getting two of them. A homer and the single with the runner on second. As we uh, were about to say, the tickers in the entire New York area are out of order. And we are, with the help of the folks in the press box, trying to get scores together for you. In some instances, they may be incomplete. But Baltimore beat Boston 7-5 to in the first game. Estrada beating Mon Bouquet. Sadowski and Woodling homering. Woodling with one on. It'll be Bosefield and Porter Carrero in the second game. The Indians scored four runs in the sixth inning to go ahead of Chicago four to one. At the end of six, Perry for Cleveland. Win for Chicago, Staley in the sixth. Detroit leading Kansas City six to nothing, end of three innings. Dick DeGuerre against Johnny Cooks, who was knocked out in the first inning. Garber took over and then Trowbridge in the second. Chrisley homer with one on. In the National League, Cincinnati beat Philadelphia 5-4 in 10 innings. Brosnan the winner in relief of McLeish. Conley, uh, I think, is the loser. I think, remember, some of this is incomplete. Pittsburgh beat Milwaukee 8-3. Haddix beat Spahn. And uh, Cubs and Giants start later. Single game tonight, St. Louis at Los Angeles. Earl Batty in the second inning takes a strike from Ralph Terry. Batty, Consolo, and Ramos, the bottom third of the order. Ralph Terry's pitch sails inside, one and one. Someone wanted to know if Lefty Grove ever won 31 games in a given year. He did in 1931. Easy way to remember. 1931, Grove won 31. He only lost four games. The 1-1 one -one pitch. Swung on, grounded, foul down the first baseline. That same year, West Burrow won 22, George Earnshaw 21, Lefty Gomez 21, Rube Wahlberg 20. The 1 2 pitch. Swung on, fouled off out of play into the upper deck. One ball, two strikes. This is WOKO Albany, New York. The one two delivery swung on, a pop up and foul ground, which McDougal moves over and makes the catch on. 
You know, sometimes you get into a grammatical construction you never intend to. Moves over for it, makes the catch on. Is that it moves over for it and makes the catch. Batty fouls out to McDougal. And here's Billy Consolo. Took over at shortstop after Valdivielso was hit by a pitched ball. Pitch is in for a strike. That proved to be the man who scored the winning run, or the Lenny Green who ran for uh, Valdivielso, scored the winning run. Now the pitch, Billy takes it high for a ball. Next pitch, curveballs inside, two and one. Two and one the count on Consolo. Terry's pitch, curve is over. Strike two, two two. Pitches swung on and missed strike three. Consolo strikes out. Pete Ramos coming up. And Pete fancies himself as a hitter. He's had only two for 20 this year, but. He used to be a better hitter than he has been the last year or so, so he started to switch hitting. Batting left-handed now. Takes a strike. Every once in a while, though, he'll, uh, with a man on base, usually, or something of that kind, he'll, he'll turn around and still bat right-handed against a, a right-hand pitcher. Here's the delivery. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Nothing in two. He's a good... Uh, straightaway runner too They're always challenging some speedster in the league a two strike pitch has bunted foul and out of play to the right of the plate Ramos a strikeout victim bunting foul and the sides retired no runs no hits no errors no one left on end of an inning and a half Washington one and New York nothing I'd like to take a minute to talk to you folks who really look forward to good eating. What a time to talk about eating, and I'm so hungry. Get, your, get that meat hook off my sandwich, Pappy. Thanks for the mustard. Red Barber has put a whole jar of mustard in front of me. You got something to go with it? Peanuts? Your friend? I never will forget, we, Red and I were a masquerade party the other night. I don't know if any of you saw it or not, but I, he was selling soda pop downstairs, and I was selling peanuts and uh, frankfurters upstairs. And, of course, the panel's asking questions. We were made up with masks. Somebody asked me a question. I was handing hot dogs out like mad, you know, and handing one to one gentleman, and please don't take any offense at this. It's not meant that way. He says, I can't take that. So this is Friday. I broke up behind the mask, <laughs> and I couldn't hear a question. <laughs> oh, me. Well, what I was going to tell you, how about getting yourself a bottle of Ballantine Ale with, with your food? Enjoy that big, big taste. Man gives your appetite a lift. Ballantine Ale with your meal. No other drink in the world brings out the taste of good food the way Ballantine Ale does. That's because Ballantine Ale is more than a thirst quencher, different than any beer. It has a truly big difference in taste that comes only from Brewer's Gold. Try a cool green bottle of Ballantine Ale with any of your favorite meals 
and you'll see what a difference an ale makes. Scourin takes ball one in the last of the second. Ramos delivers, and the Moose swings and grounds it to short. Consolo is right up with it, throws on to first in time. One away. Scourin came up batting 294. He had three out of four in the opener, two doubles and a single. Drove in the Yankees' run. Gil McDougal walked, single left, and struck out twice. Fame is short-lived. A couple of folks wanted to boo him because he was up there twice in spots. Several guys were. He had a run home with a fly ball. He takes a strike. They forget that yesterday he kept the Yankees' hopes alive and he took a pitch battling with two outs with the bases loaded and finally took ball four to force in the tying run yesterday. Swings and hits a foul down the right field line out of play. I guess that's the price of uh, making the big league grade. You have to do it every day for a lot of folks. No balls, two strikes. Time. McDougal asks for time. fella fell down. Uh, and jumped up onto the roof of the dugout and uh, he went sliding off of it. That's all over. He's gone. Ball. No balls. Two strikes. He must have thought he was Douglas Fairbanks Sr. Here's the pitch and it's low outside. Ball one. One and two. a man from Mars for a moment. All I looked to see a fellow flying through the air, but not with the greatest of ease. The pitch is swung on, lined in the left field for a base hit. Dan Dobeck tosses on in to Consolo, and McDougal lashes a single to left. Here's Bobby Richardson hitting 228. He had uh, one for two in the first game was removed for a pinch hitter in the seventh. Ramos delivers. Bobby swings and fouls it off to the right of the plate. Strike one. One nothing Senators. Second inning. Senators won the first game two to one. Strike pitch, swung on and foul back. Strike two. No balls and two strikes. One out, one on. Ramos to his stretch and the pitch. Swung on and popped foul coming back out of play upon the netting. Again, the two strike pitch. Swung on, grounded to short. Consolo over to Gardner for one, back to first double play. Retires the side. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left on. The end of two innings. Washington, one run, two hits, no errors, two left on. New York, no runs, three hits, no errors, and two men left on base. We pause for station identification. At 1460 on the dial, you're tuned to Quality Modern Radio. This is WOKO with the best in music, news, and sports at 7 after 5. First 
first half of the third inning. Allison, Green, and Gardner coming to bat. New York will be home next Friday night, Saturday afternoon, which will be a ladies' afternoon, and a doubleheader next Sunday with the Boston Red Sox. Followed up by the Chicago White Sox on Monday night, June the 6th, Tuesday afternoon the 7th, Wednesday night the 8th, Thursday afternoon the 9th. Then the Cleveland Indians, Friday night the 10th, Saturday afternoon the 11th, another ladies' afternoon, and a doubleheader on Sunday the 12th. In the third inning, it'll be the top of the Washington order, Allison, Green, and Gardner. Boston and Baltimore scoreless end of the first inning of the second game. The Orioles won the opener 7-5. Cleveland leading 4-1 end of 7 over Chicago in the first game. And the Tigers leading Kansas City by a score of... We have uh, six to nothing in the four innings. Cincinnati beat Philadelphia 5-4. Pittsburgh beat Milwaukee 8-3 in first games in the National League. The other action on the West Coast. Here's Bob Allison. Terry's pitch is in there. Strike one. Grounded out to short. The one strike pitch. It's in there, strike two. Pete, do we have the Senators' home and road record? For some reason, just in my mind, uh, Senators uh, certainly, is, where the Yankees, they're tougher in the stadium than they are in Washington. The two-strike pitch, curveball, line foul down the left field line. Sox came up with three runs in the second inning uh, against Baltimore when uh, catcher uh, Haywood Sullivan hit a two-run homer. Here's the delivery. That one sails high over everybody's head to the screen. One and two. Swung on, foul back up here. One ball, two strikes. Now the delivery, low and outside for ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch changeup is hit deep to left. Lopez going back after coming in, and he can't get it off his glove. There goes Allison into second, and Lopez can't pick it up, and Allison's going on to third. Hector Lopez misjudged the ball, broke in, and then went back and only got a glove on the ball and scored as a triple. is credited with a triple. Uh, at the moment, uh, Bobby Richardson had something in his eye. And now Ralph Houck is going out to uh, ask Joe Paparella whether that ball didn't bounce in the stands for a ground rule double. Or whether a fan touched it. 
But actually, there is a rule in the book now that the umpire can use his judgment on a ball touched by a fan. The only time I've ever seen it called was in Detroit last year. Where if in the umpire's judgment, the batter could have made uh, third base, he'll let him uh, have it. In other words, where the ball is touched after it's by a fielder. Right now, Lenny Green up, fly to right center in the first inning. And the pitch. Outside, ball one. One ball, no strike. The pitch is in there for a strike. Richardson and Scour in the back. McDougal and Kubak shortened up should they get a chance for a play at the plate. Green at bat. And the pitch is inside. Ball two. Two and one. A two one count. the pitch to the left-hand batter. Swung on, bounced to the right side. Richardson on the grass up with it. Throws to Skyron as Allison scores. And it's 2 to nothing, Washington. Senators are making their hits count. Four hits and two runs in the opener. Good enough to win 2-1 to one against the Yankees. Ten hits. And they got three hits and two runs in this game. The Yankees have three hits and no runs. Billy Gardner, single to right center in the first inning. The pitch swung on and missed strike one. The one strike delivery is high, ball one, one and one. One uh, delivery now to Billy Gardner. With one run in, one out. Low, ball two, two and one. Balls, one strike. And the delivery. Low outside for ball three, three and one. The three one pitch. Swung on, foul tip, strike two, full count. is outside for ball four and Gardner walks. Second pass issued by Terry and here's Julio Becker who drew a pass in the first inning.
pitch to Becker is bounced foul down the first baseline. is high and away. Counts one and one. One ball, one strike. Throw over to first and runners back safely. the pitch. Swung on, foul back out of play. A one-two count. back safely. Ralph Terry delivers and Becker swings and lines it out over second in the center. Gardner holds it second as Mantle tosses it back into Kubek. Senators have runners on first and second now with one out, one run in, two to nothing Washington. Here's Armin Killebrew. Drove in a run with a single in the first inning. Ralph Terry all set, and the pitch is swung on and fouled off behind the Yankee dugout. Strike one. leading away from second. Beck there from first to pitch. Low outside. Ball one. One ball. One strike. And the pitch. Curve ball over the outside corner. Strike two. One and two. second back there on first one down one in and the delivery high and inside two 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 balls two strikes Two pitch. Strike three call over the outside corner. Killer Brew argues it. Called out by Al Smith. Four strikeouts for Terry. Now Dan Dobeck, who struck out in the first inning. Left-hand batter is in there for a strike. Here's 
There's the next pitch. In there, strike two, nothing and two. Boston leading Baltimore three to one in the two innings of the second game. Baltimore won in the opener seven to five. Cleveland leading Chicago four to one at the end of seven innings, and Detroit ahead of Kansas City six to one at the end of four. Here's the pitch. Swung on to high fly ball in the right field. Maris drifting under it, and he makes the catch. The side is retired. One run, two hits. No errors, two left on. At the end of three innings, Washington, uh, at the end of two and a half innings, excuse me, Washington two, the Yankees nothing. enjoy good food, enjoy it even more with a refreshing glass of Ballantine Ale. More than a thirst quencher, different than any beer, Ballantine Ale has a big, big taste that really goes over big with food. A big, big taste that comes from Brewer's Gold. Try Ballantine Ale with any meal. See what a difference an ale makes. half of the third inning. Ralph Terry will lead off, then Tony Kubek and Hector Lopez. Right-hand batter, Pete Ramos pitches over strike one. Carries nothing for 12. You know, this is a rough league. The one-strike pitch swung on and hit foul upstairs. Nothing in two. No balls, two strikes. the two-strike pitch. Swung on, and there's a liner which Consolo grabs going to his left. And Terry is retired. Now Tony Kubek, who singled the right in the first inning. over strike one nothing in one one strike pitch swung on say fly ball into center Lenny Green getting under it and there are two ways he makes the catch now Hector Lopez who fly to right center in the first inning Yesterday and uh, getting the treatment now because he misjudged uh, a couple of balls out there. Here's the pitch outside, ball one, one and nothing. Of course, it's made the difference in the game. Both balls he misjudged led to runs. The one nothing delivery. Swung on and missed. Strike one. One and one. The one-one pitch gets away from the catcher. Ball two. Two and one. Now 
the 2-1 delivery. Swung on and foul back. Strike two. 2-2. Two, two. Two balls, two strikes. Two outs, two to nothing. Washington. Last of the third. The pitch is swung on, grounded to second. Kelly Gardner up with it. Flips on to Becker, and that retires the side. No runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on. And a three innings. Washington 2-4-0. The Yankees 0-3-0. Washington won the opener 2-1. to one. Nothing like a glass of cool Ballantine ale. How about trying some right now? The only ale made with Brewer's Gold. It's the genuine. Bill Rizzuto will be coming on to sit in with you as we move over to the television side. Nice being with you. And remember, tomorrow night, Baltimore will be on radio at 7.55. Hope you enjoy Nice holiday. Play it safe and drive safe coming on in, will you? you got to drive about three cars. Yours, the one behind you, and the one in front of you. And another one, the one coming towards you. This is WOKO in all the order, but the toll is mounting. Don't let it be you. will be coming on right after we pause for station identification. At 1460 on the dial, this is your station for music, news, and sports. Quality Modern, WOKO. The time is 529. WOKO temperature, 76 degrees. The humidity is 48%. Okay, Mel. We'll be giving the scores. The tickers are still very slow catching up. We'll be able to give you uh, complete scores in just a little while. Earl Batty, who popped the third base in the second inning, leading off against Ralph Cherry. Fast ball down the middle, strike call. Two nothing, Washington leading. Curve is low. Ball one, one and one on Earl Batty. deck is Billy Consolo. Sun shining brightly now. Here's a swing and a miss at a changeup. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Fastball fouled back on the screen. Cherry out on the mound for the Yankees. Gave up one run in the first inning, one in the third. Here's Cherry's curveball. It's hit on a line of left field. Hector Lopez right there makes the catch. The ball was hit right on the nose. Ad Lopez, one away. Here's Billy Consolo, who struck out in the second inning. Terry's first pitch, low curve in the dirt, ball one. On deck, Pedro Ramos. He's wasting no time sitting in the dugout. He's out there with his warm-up jacket over his right arm. Doesn't bother to put it through his left arm. Swing in the bat. Ball popped in the air in foul territory. Yogi Berra coming back near the stands and makes the catch. Just to the left of the Washington dugout in front of the lower box seats. Two ways. Here's Pedro who struck out in the second inning. Ramos batted left-handed the first time up against Terry. He's now batting right-handed. Switching around. Nothing slow about this Ramos. He likes to pitch fast out on the mound, throw fast balls, ready to be the next hitter, and he can run. The pitch is a curved foul at the plate strike one. 
Ramos said he would not be afraid to run against Mantle in a foot race. Somebody just threw another apple down the field, just missed Gil McDougal in the first game. An apple was thrown down from the upper deck and it hit Hal Narrick on the catcher right in his throwing hand, and that hurt. The one strike pitch is inside ball one, one on one. Two out, nobody on. Center is two, and the Yankees nothing in the top of the fourth. One on one to count. Fastball is outside. Ball two, two on one. pitch is swung at a missed strike two two and two <laughs> here's a two two pitch strike three swinging so Ramos has now struck out right handed and left handed for Terry's fifth strikeout for Washington nothing of course in the top of the fourth inning the score at the end of three and a half innings the Senate is two and the Yankees, nothing. It's got that big take, take, take. Oh, that Valentine's ale with Brewer's Gold. Say, next time you enjoy good food, add to that enjoyment by pouring yourself a glass of Valentine Ale. No other drink goes so well with food as Valentine Ale. And with the big, big taste that comes from Brewer's Gold. The big, big taste that makes this fine ale more than a thirst quencher, different than any beer. Yes, sir, try Valentine Ale with your meal soon. Discover what a difference an ale makes. Valentine Ale with Brewer's Gold. was a little late getting out to the uh, right field position for the Senators. Pedro Remo still loosening up. Mickey Mantle who fly to right field in the first inning. Standing alongside of home plate watching Ramos loosen up. Two nothing Washington leads. We're in the bottom of the fourth. Senators won the first game two to one. And time is called. Bob Allison, who was late getting out, suddenly stops out in short right field. And uh, Julio Becker and Lenny Green and now Billy Gardner are going out. Allison looks like he uh, has suddenly lost his wind. He's taking some deep breaths out there. Takes his handkerchief out now. George Lentz, the trainer, is coming out, as well as Cookie Lavagetto. And Allison has had himself a busy day, that's for sure. Making two circus catches in the first game to rob the Yankees of homers. Hitting a homer and driving in the second run. He drove in both runs in the first game. He has tripled here in the second game and scored a run. And he's walking around out in right center field. And he's got his hands on both knees now with the trainer right alongside of him. And it looks like he's whipping out a little smelling salts or ammonia for uh, Allison to take a whiff of out there, breaking over one of those little vials. Cookie Lavagetto 
definitely disturbed because of the fact that his star right fielder Allison might have to be taken out of the ball game and Allison has been the big offensive man for the Senators in both games so far today he's going to he's going to try and remain in he's taking his cap off and is walking around out in the outfield remember in yesterday's ball game Bill Scarin got the feeling a little queasy after hitting a triple trying for an inside the park homer and left the game but Allison will remain in puts his sunglasses on Taking some deep breaths. We've got the field glasses trained on him out there. And the Yankees in the bullpen, Elston Howard and Johnny Blanchard, riding Allison a little bit. Tom Mantle ready to step into the batter's box. As Cookie Lavagetto and George Lentz, the trainer, leave the field. 2 0, the Senators lead, bottom of the fourth. Mantle the batter with Berra and Maris to follow. The pitch to Mickey is fouled back strike one. Mickey wants time called. Ramos likes to pitch real quick. Doesn't give the batter too much time to get set. All right, here's the wind-up. The one-strike pitch is a curve low inside, ball one, one and one. The one-one pitch, that was without a wind-up. He tried a quick pitch, Mickey, but it's outside, ball two, two and one. Outside, ball three, three and one. Now the three one delivery. It's hit. Beautiful play by Gardner. Throws the first for the out. Oh, did he take a base hit away from Mantle? As Mickey hit a vicious one hopper to Gardner's left, Billy just stuck his glove out. Actually had to look twice to see if he had it. It was hit that hard, and then just flipped the back here for the out. Man, you can't hit him much harder than that. One away, and here's Yogi Berra, who single the left center field in the first inning. That's the kind the ball players say, either you got him or you haven't got him. You just take a stab at it. There's a strike call on Yogi. Ball one, one and one. One, one pitch high outside. Ball two, two and one. With one out, and nobody on in the bottom of the fourth. Washington leads the Yankees two nothing. And Washington took the first game two to one. One pitch is outside ball three. Three one pitch is hit on the ground to first base. Beck here up with it. Races to the bag for the unassisted put out. That's two away. And he threw the ball. Pass Batty, the care did. And it hit against the uh, screen in front of the lower box seat. Two out. Here's Roger Maris, who fly to right field in the first inning. Pitch to Rogers, a curve inside, ball one.
There's a ball hit to right field deep. Going back, Allison. But the ball is in the bleachers for a home run. I tell you, Allison came near catching that one as he got the auxiliary scoreboard to the right of the Yankee bullpen. He put his foot on the scoreboard, leaped high above the railing of the fence. But the ball just went over his glove, about two rows back in the bleachers for a home run for Roger Maris. The 11th homer for Maris. Last year, Maris had 16 home runs, and that's his 11th of the year already. Here's the moose. Takes the fastball down the middle, strike one. Two-to-one ball game now. The Senators leading. Two out, nobody on. Curve to Skarin. Hits deep to left field, but that's going foul way back in the upper deck. As Ramos came in with a sidearm curveball, he got a little bit too far inside. And Moose really powdered it high in the upper deck, but foul. Two and one the count. ball to second. Billy Gardner up with it. Over the back here for the out. So for the Yankees in the bottom of the fourth. One run on Maris's home run his 11th of the year. No Senator errors and nobody left. And the score at the end of four full innings. Washington two runs on four hits and no errors. And the Yankees one run on four hits and no errors. Now we're on the go again. This is Bob Delaney with the rest of the ball game brought to you by the Atlantic Refining Company and your neighborhood Atlantic dealer. The Home Savings Bank in Albany at 11 North Pearl Street and 77 Central Avenue where the current rate of interest is 3.5% per annum and compounded quarterly. And by P. Ballantyne and Sons, brewers of the Quick Refresher Ballantyne Beer. And by the Atlantic Refining Company, as we mentioned, and your neighborhood Atlantic dealer. Atlantic keeps your car on the go. For business, for pleasure, in any kind of weather, Atlantic keeps your car on the go. When you want to go places and do things, what a pleasure your driving can be. For quality products and not service, your Atlantic dealer is the man to see. Maris uh, is really something, isn't he? He just moved right into Yankee Stadium and taken over. Now he's the home run leader with 11. performer today. Delivers and hits a high fly ball out to Mantle. Mickey backs up, waits. Has it. One pitch and one out as we move along. Fifth inning, Washington leading two to one. Game two, and that is the final score in favor of Washington of the first game. I imagine we'll be having a final pretty soon. Uh, uh, Cleveland and Chicago. Yep, there it is. And Cleveland wins it four to one. So the Indians jump the White Sox four to one and they beat Win. Uh huh. That is uh, the third uh, final in our league. First, uh, the other one. There's a bunt by Green. That is foul. Strike one. Uh, Baltimore uh, held on in first place in the first game. Held on every bit of it, beating Boston seven to five. End of three. The Red Sox are leading three to one. Pittsburgh beat Milwaukee, the first of a doubleheader out at Pittsburgh, 8-3, and then the second game would rained out. 
The first team was uh, delayed the start of it by rain, and I would gather they must have had pretty well rainy conditions out there. We've had no report on the um, 500 mile race in Indianapolis, but if it's raining out there in the Midwest, I imagine they've had some rain, and of course that uh, is quite a factor. Green swinging and fouls it off strike two. Then the upper deck back at third. All right, nothing in two. We'll run down all the other games for us when we get to the end of this fifth inning and give us a little more freedom. All right, Charlie with one out, nobody on. Christian to Green, left-hand hitter. There's a ball that is hit to left field, and it gets through Lopez, hits it on the chin, and Green is running away to second base, and comes in. Lopez charged the low line drive, tried to shoot string it, and the ball hit him down on the feet. It's a double. down tomorrow to uh, Baltimore where they have three night games and they're back here with the Red Sox at the stadium Friday night, Saturday afternoon and a doubleheader Sunday and then follows a real big week with the White Sox in for four and the Indians in for four Chicago has a Monday night game here and a Wednesday night game of next week and uh, the Indians have a Friday night game for next week and uh, two Sundays into doubleheader Ball four, low outside, a fastball, and Gardner walks. Third walk given up by Terry. The care, with a walk and a single, comes up to the plate. Barrow walks out to the mound, trying to encourage uh, the young right-hander, Ralph Terry. left hand hitter and they play him to pull up to slightly uh, shaded into right infield is double play depth runners at first and second one out Terry in position delivers and Becky takes a curve low inside ball one left hand hitter one ball no strikes the pitch does and Becker cuts on a low inside curve strike one one and one in case you're wondering about the young first baseman that Washington had when they were here the fellow they got in the deal for the White Sox the Steelers Mincha uh, Lambergetto soon found that the boy simply wasn't ready and they sent him on down to Charlotte where he could play all the time in the league that was uh, more his level 
ball swung on foul off. Strike two. has been pitching him low inside curves without a variation. One and two. Washington two, New York one. The Yankee run is the 11th home run by Maris. Giving him the league lead in that department. Back here swinging and fouls it back. And uh, that was a fastball high outside for a change. One ball, two strikes. Sam Mille coaching at first. Ellis Cleary coaching at third. Curve is swung on and hit out to Maris in right field. The runner stay put as Roger makes the catch and throws in to second base. Now we have two down, and Harmon Killebro singled in the first inning with two out and knocked in the first Washington run and took a third strike in the third. Ah, here are the uh, crowd figures, including servicemen as guests of the Yankees. We uh, have in the stadium today 43,669. The paid 42,927. 42,927 paid. I've been telling you, we had quite a crowd out here. All right, the first pitch to kill a is high for a ball. Two men out, two men on, first and second. Field is most respectfully deep around what left. He couldn't check his swing on an outside curve, and it goes for a strike. One and one. One ball, one strike. leaning down to take the sign, which of course is being given in a rather complicated sequence with the runner at second base who can look down as well as the pitcher. 1-1 one, one pitch. High inside. Fastball. Ball two. 2-1. Two Pitch is high, ball three. Green one. Ralph Hout, who is uh, running things with Casey Stingle ill with virus, facing in that dugout. He's been facing in there all day, I might tell you. If he can't get the second game changed around, he's not going to enjoy his dinner tonight. Probably won't even want any. One pitch is a curve outside. Ball four. Killebrew walks and this loads them up. Pushing Gardner over to second and Green on to third. Four walks by Terry. Might say five walks. Counting count down there in the dugout. All right, three on, two out, and the rookie outfielder, Don Dobak, a left-hand batter up. Terry fanned him in the first inning and got him on a five ball to right to the third. 
Outfield's around toward right on Dobek. Sutter reminds everybody two outs and settles down and gives the sign. Terry starts pumping with the bases loaded. Delivers a change of pace, which is swung on as a high fly ball that Maris is under in deep right field. Waiting. Pass. And that is that. Stall for the bid. No run. One hit, three left. There were no errors. Score into four and a half. Washington two and New York one. Most people are familiar with the regular way to save with the savings account at the Home Savings Bank in Albany. This is getting ready, and we have time before we hit the last of the fifth inning to pause for station identification. This is Quality Modern Radio in Albany, New York, WOKO, your station for the best in good music, accurate news, and top sports coverage. At the time, 30 seconds before 6. Washington leading 2-1. That's the score they won the first game by. McDougal, Richardson, and Terry. We go into the last of the fifth against one of Washington's uh, uh, ace pitches, uh, Pete Ramos. Ramos pumping, delivers the fastball high inside off the hand. Ball white. Ramos doesn't waste much time. He gets the ball, takes the sign. He's a pitch sort of fellow. He's nervous. Delivers, rest through there for a strike. One and one. Uh, lost his first five, and he's won his next two. One ball, one strike. Foul two. One and two. The um, Yankee paid the captain on a forty-two thousand nine hundred and twenty-seven. I guess the home attendance uh, roughly about 295,000. Has a bounce ball down to short. Control all, throws him out. So, of course, in the Friday night game coming up for the Red Sox, the Yankees will go solidly over the 300,000 mark. And you'll see the attendance figures keep right on going uh, with the series with the Red Sox, White Sox, and Indians. Big game's coming up, friends. And don't get caught looking out of the window. Get the seats that you want right away. Bobby Richardson takes the pitch high outside. Ball one. The Yankees have made it about as easy as they can for you to get tickets. Office that's open at the stadium. Mezzanine at Grand Central and at every one of the Weber and Hobbs on a store. There's a high pop-up. Let's see, the catcher batty and foul ground makes the grab. And we have two of has not come out. Here he comes now. He's off for one. And of course, you can always write in for your ticket. Things sure aren't going well with the Milwaukee Braves. Just happened to think when they got rained out their second game today at their 12th postponement. That and the fact that they're not winning, that do make it nice. Pass ball is over to Terry. Strike one. No balls, one strike. Pass ball right in there. Strike two. Ramos uh, isn't going to waste any time with him. Two to one, Washington. That's a lot of curveball. Struck him out. He threw it hard. Side arm around him. Two in. This is the first strikeout for Pete. And at the end of five innings, the totals, Washington two runs, five hits, no errors. New York, one run, four hits, no errors. Washington, two to one. Now, we promise you the results of the other game. Well, the amazing Orioles uh, continue rushing, and they beat the Red Sox 7-5, to five, the first of a doubleheader. At the end of four to the second, the Red Sox are winning 3-1. to one. Uh, Cleveland knocked off Chicago 4-1 to one in the first game. Uh, Perry, the winning pitcher, with a relief in the ninth inning by Stigman, and they beat Wynn and got him out in the face of a four-run six. Uh, Lapman goes against Shaw in the second game. 
one thing the Cleveland crowd uh, has got to do this year is win some games in Chicago, which they did uh, today. The White Sox, with their ability to beat Cleveland last year, had much to do with their winning the pennant. Uh, Detroit got out in front of Kansas City 6 to nothing, and the Athletics have now tied it up at the end of 6. 6-6, six six, first game. In the National League, uh, Philadelphia tied the ball game in the 8th, and Cincinnati won it in the 10th, 5-4. That's the first one. And Philadelphia is leading in the second game 6 to nothing in the last of the sixth inning. They knocked uh, Newcomb out in the face of a five-run fifth inning. Uh, the first game of the doublehead and the only one played because of rain. Uh, Pittsburgh moved into first place, at least for the moment. They broke the tie with the Giants by beating Milwaukee 8 to 3. The Giants are playing two out on the coast, and uh, their first game is tied at 1-1, one one, going into the last of the sixth inning with a cup. Uh, St. Louis plays a night game at Los Angeles this evening. Now things carry on to the sixth inning here at the stadium, and Earl Batty, the catcher, is first up for Washington. Right-hand hitter. Out to the step toward left. Terry's fastball is high. Ball one. In the second game, it is uh, Terry pitching, Barra catching. The infield remains the same. Scowling, Richardson, Kubek, and McDougal. Lopez is in left. Mantle in center, Maris in right. A curve is swung on and hit down the left field corner, close to the line, and it is a foul ball. One and one. Boy, I bet that Dykes out of Kansas City is lighting his cigars without matches. Had a six to nothing lead to get away from it. You know, that upsets managers. Ball swung on, lined into left field. Clean base hit. Lopez the trees, throws it in. Clean single to left. Hit number six for the Senators. He keeps threatening away. Now we have uh, the shortstop Consolo, who had to take over late in the first game when Valde Vielso was hit uh, on the hand. Inside, ball one. <laughs> We've just received the information that, uh, I know you've answered in about who won the race out at Indianapolis. Jim Rathman won it and set a new record. An average of 138.767 miles per hour. Consolo swings and misses. One and one. Roger Ward, who won it last year, was second. You know, when you figure on uh, an almost track to average for 500 miles, one man, one afternoon, 100 and, oh, 139 miles an hour. That's faster than walking. Control takes there goes the runner, there's the throw, and Batty is out. Richardson taking Barrett's throw. And I would have to hazard the opinion that a sign was missed someplace because Batty does not have the running speed that you'd uh, send him down on just as a pure steal. Now, whether uh, he got the uh, uh, sign confused or Consolo missed the sign at the plate, but I would think somebody did. As a result, we now have one man out. Nobody on. A uh, count of two balls and one strike. Now uh, Terry, uh, working on Consolo, delivers and has a foul back. That one came right on in the television section and right on out again. Terry is faster than he appears because when you see these foul balls come back up here jumping like that, you know it. All right, two and two. Pitches a curve high inside. Three and two. Full count. One out, nobody on. Washington leading two to one. Terry, pump 
stopping. Little time side ball four. Control walk. This is the fifth walk given up by Ralph. And here is Pete Ramos, the switch hitter. I don't know which way he's going to bat. First time he batted left. Next time right. in a minute. I can tell you now, he's going to hit right-handed. Actually, I do not say that Mr. Ramos is what you would uh, call a true switch hitter. He's basically a right-hand batter, and he gets up there left-handed once in a while. Tries to bunt that way with his running speed, beat out a base hit. Bunt, this one, trying to sacrifice and fouls it outside first base. Strike one. He has it. A foul pop bunt. Now we have uh, two outs. Well, well, we're getting just a little sprinkled. Been pretty fortunate. The forecast for a couple of days had been occasional showers. Haven't had an area tiny one until right now. down, and here is right fielder Bob Allison. Boy, what a big difference he's made uh, for Washington today. Takes the fastball high and side, ball one. He caught a couple of Yankee home runs in the first game and hit a home run himself, and the difference in the second ball game was his triple out to left field and then scored on Green's infield out. up on the Yankee scoreboard about Jim Rathman winning the uh, Indianapolis 500. Setting a new record. And a ball is hit through the middle for a base hit for Allison. And call, call goes right around the third. I started to say that uh, this is quite a service to the uh, baseball fans at the stadium, this bulletin board at the stadium. Anything big that happens is promptly set up. Official uh, writes the bulletin. Now Washington has men at first and third, and I guess Mr. Lavagetto is ruining the uh, confusion of signals that cost him an out and a runner and a run. You can't make those mistakes in the close ball game without some uh, biting you. And here is Lenny Green, who doubled his last time up. He is one for three. He didn't field out in the uh, third inning, got in the second run. Takes the curve, low inside, ball one. Uh, unbelievable. Practically 139 miles an hour, 500 miles on that track at Indianapolis. Has a changeup that is popped up to first baseman Sharon and foul ground. He has it for the out. The um, missed sign was indeed uh, a penalty. No runs, two hits, two left. Score into five and a half innings, game two, Washington two, uh, New York one. Well, we've got a real ball game going. Washington leading in this streak of two to one. There's the top of the Yankee hitting list now. Kubek, then Lopez, then Mattel. Tony is one for two against Ramos. The right-handed pitches, and Kubek hits a slow roller that Ramos is fielding on the first baseline. Throws him out by a step. Pitcher to first. Walking up to the plate. I feel it's 
straight away on Hector. Ramos is right over for a call strike. Fastball is wide. One and one. One ball, one strike. Is swung on and a hot line in the left field for a base hit. Put the wood to that one. So Lopez probably puts the tying run on. So it's uh, one out last in the sixth inning. And there's a big uproar from the big crowd as the fellow who wears the big seven stepped up there. Mickey Mantle. Field deep round foot right. Mickey hitting left handed against his right hander, Ramos. Swings and misses at a curveball coming into his knees. Like one. Curve into the dirt down by Mantle's feet. Examined by plate umpire Al Smith, and it is discarded. All right, one and one. The shower that we spoke about uh, stopped. It's about the time that we could uh, notice it. See, we've had a lot of real close baseball out here today, you know it. Third ball is in, strike two. Strike. One out. Last to the six, and we got quite a continuous hubbub going around here in the Triple Deck Stadium. Just outside ball two. Two and two. and he suddenly snapped back. And Bill Dickey coaching over there goes over there and says, hey, I got enough gray hair, Mickey, without you getting caught off. All right. Two strikes. Ramos, all business, he has to be. Pitches, and Barrow fouls it back. That was a 
was another one for the uh, press box. One out, two on. Now a swinging foul, this one into the third deck behind home plate. Yogi is in the uh, position right now of having to guard that dish. Anything that's close, he's got to slap at. Nothing in two counts. All right, he steps in, faces Ramos. Ramos steps on the rubber, then steps off. Now Ramos steps on, six time. And the pitcher and the hitter face each other. Runner take the lead. Two strike pitch again. Swung on and hit off the left field. It is a base hit. And here is Lopez at the hold up at third. The ball was hit sharply. And Lopez could not immediately come off second base because he had to wait to be sure that Doback could not come in and make the catch. So, Cavetti held him up. The bases are now loaded. And here is Roger Maris at the plate, who uh, hit a home run in the fourth inning. Who leads the Yankees in RBIs as well as uh, leading the league in home runs. So Barra gets an opposite field single. Gets the bases loaded. Yogi is now two for three. Catcher Batty is out of the mound, uh, talking to Ramos, who's now in a jam. This is the toughest hitter that Ramos could be called on to pitch to at uh, such a junction. Norris one for two today with the home run into the uh, right center field bleachers back of the auxiliary scoreboard. We have one man out. The infield is in double play back. The outfield is caught right. Takes that very solid stand. Right-handed pitches, and Myers swings it. It's a high, high foul ball. Third baseman Killebrew is under it. He has got it. And we have two men out. The upper cut of the fastball and fouled it to the third baseman. And now it's up to the moose. Gardner comes in from second base. The catcher goes out, quick conference with the three, including the pitcher. And now it's every man back to his defensive post. The three Yankee runners are ready to go on anything. It is Washington two, New York one. And I'll guarantee you that Mr. Hawk and the Yankee dugout, Mr. Labrador and the Washington dugout are all eyes. This is a showdown situation right here. Gowan hits the ground ball to the pitcher. And Ramos runs to first base and tags him out himself. He caught the moose between swings. Ramos came up with the ball on the dead run, running towards first. He is lightning fast anyhow. And he just trips over there like supper passing and stepped on first base for the unassisted put out. So, I'm not going down and ask Hawk for his autograph right now. No run. Two hits, three left. Totals at the end of six innings. Washington, two runs, seven hits and no errors. New York, one run, six hits and no errors. Uh, Cleveland beat Chicago, four to one. Terry beating Wynn. Second game, last one against Shaw, no score, end of an inning. First game, uh, it is a 6-6 six -six tie. Detroit at Kansas City in the last of the seventh after Detroit had gotten ahead six to nothing at the end of three innings. National League in 10 innings, Cincinnati 5, Philadelphia 4. And time is being called at the end of the sixth inning of the second game with Philadelphia sitting on top of a 6 0 lead. Uh, Pittsburgh uh, beat Milwaukee 8 3 the first game. The second one was rained out. Uh, the Chicago Cubs at the end of six and a half innings, two. The San Francisco Giants won. First game out there. Uh, St. Louis of Los Angeles tonight. All right, this one is uh, 2 1 Washington as we move into the seventh inning. Senators won the first game 2 1. And here is Billy Gardner leading off the seventh. The right-hand batter, Ralph Carey pitches, and it's the fastball high for ball one. After the line to it left, Gardner steps out. Time is uh, held by late umpire Smith.
pitch is a change of pace that is too low. Ball two. The wind has picked up and is coming in from back of right field. A little chill in the air now. We had a bearish flight shower uh, an inning ago. Bearish flight. We about the time some folks decide to get up and leave. They see, there's a fly ball hit right out to Lopez. He has it. We started to say about the shower. It was so inconsequential that uh, uh, some of the folks who um, thought they'd get up and leave when it started, by the time they could straighten up the shower, it stopped. So they just got out again. One down, top of the seventh. And here is uh, Julio Becker, who is one for two, single. Pitch is a change of pace swung on and fouled up close to the screen and on to it. Strike one. In case you just tuned in, Jim Rathman set a new record in winning the uh, Indianapolis 500. Almost 139 miles an hour. One down, top of the seven. curve and rolls it up toward first base and it goes foul just before it reaches the bag. One and two. One ball, two strikes, one up. Washington uh, won the first game 2-1 and they're leading in the second 2-1. It has been an exciting tenth afternoon all the way. Yankee bullpen is now at work. Uh, Terry is uh, scheduled to hit third in the last of the seven. It'll take a lot of doing uh, for him to uh, be eligible to bat and not be behind. Strike three. Went down on a curveball. Six strikeouts for Ralph. Here is uh, Killebro with a single, which knocked in the first run. Took a third strike and then walked. backs up and goes around toward left. Paid attendance today, 42,927. 42,927. <laughs> Terry rocking, delivers, and Killiber swinging, hits it off the end of the bat, back to the mound. Ralph throws to Scallon, and that's it. Nothing across. And the score end of six and a half innings of the second game remains Washington two and New York one. Gil McDougal leading off in the bottom of the seventh inning. Washington leading two to one. Gunning for his third straight win. Pitches, and McDougal hits a bounding ball sharply to Killebrew, who's up with it, and shoots him down at first base. One away. Weymouth's lifetime against the Yankees is 6 and 12. Richardson. Second baseman, a right-hand hitter, swings to the curve, bounces this one off Chilabu's chest. He's after it, the cover throws, and it's not in time. 
And Richardson is on. The tying runs at first base. That was a short hopper. Uh, Killebrew went down. He had the glove on the ground, but the ball uh, just came out and up and hit him on the chest. And the third baseman draws an error, which is what you call adding uh, insult to injury, isn't it? Now, we are going to have a pinch hitter. John Blanchett is going to bat for Terry. left-hand batter. So Richardson has drawn Elias at first base. A little meeting out at the Washington Mound. The second baseman to catch here around the pitcher. And Flash Smith says, let me see that baseball. Finds uh, something the matter with it and he throws it out. He has discarded quite a few this afternoon. All right, Blanchard. Left-hand batter. Haven't seen much of him this year unless you had a seat right down looking into the bullpen. Richardson off first, Becky holding. Ramos delivers, and it is a call strike. Took a little off the pitch and had it above the knees on the outside. Ramos can be real rough any given day. Come set. Pitches. And Blanchard is the ground ball to the second baseman. Gardner up with it over the shortstop. Back on to first base. Not in time at first base. Ball was not hit too sharply. So it's the fourth. They uh, keep by getting the lead runner. Washington holds the tying run back to first base. Four to six. So Blanchard to the fourth out. And now here is uh, Kubek. Who's had a single in each game. Two to one, Washington. Now we have a pinch runner for Blanchard, Joe DeMestre. So DeMestre is carrying the tying run down at first base. Two out, two back. Slender left-hand batter swings and has a high fly ball out to uh, left field. Dobek coming over to the line, makes the catch. No run, no hit, one left with one error. Totals at the end of seven. Uh, Washington, two runs, seven hits and an error. Uh, New York, one run, six hits and no error. First game. Well, now we have Mr. Rizzuto moving over here to the microphone. We could ask him so many different things and, and get a very interesting answer, no matter what we ask him. But I would, uh, I was going to say, Phil, and I'll check your opinion. It seems to me that Ramos seems to be very much on his game and uh, has enough extra to bat on when he gets in the jail. That's exactly right, Red. This is the sharpest we've seen Ramos in a long time. And he's been able to get that ball over as witness the fact he's only walked one man. That was Mickey Mantle. But right now, the Yankees have made a change in needing a new pitcher, as Terry was pinch hit for, and it's Bobby Shands making his ninth appearance of the year. Bobby has won none and lost one. 5'6", 154 pounds. He relieved against the Senators. Pitched just one-third of an inning. Did not allow any runs. That was a game in which James got credit for the victory. Ralph Terry pitched Seven innings in which he gave up seven hits. Walked five, struck out six, and allowed two runs. So Bobby Shands will be coming on, and he'll be pitching to Dan Dobeck, Earl Batty, and Billy Consolo here in the top of the eighth inning. We'll take a look at the scoreboard. In the American League, Baltimore defeated Boston in the first game 7-5. In the second game, the Red Sox lead the Orioles 6-1 at the end of five and a half innings. Cleveland defeated the White Sox in the fourth, first game, four to one. In the second game, it's nothing, nothing at the end of two. The Tigers and the A's are now tied six, six at the end of seven. 
And the A's have had six pitches in there so far. And this is the first game of a double head up. In the National League, Cincinnati defeated Philadelphia in the first game 5-4. In the second game, it's the Phillies six, Cincinnati nothing at the end of six. Strike call, the fastball down the middle. 2-1, Washington leads the Yankees here in the top of the eighth. And that was the score of the first game, Washington two, New York one. The one strike pitch is top foul back in the upper deck out of play, strike two. a few of the fans have gone home we had a little bit of rain for about three or four minutes a couple innings ago the lights have been on here at Yankee Stadium the two strike pitch just outside ball one one ball two strikes curve swung at and missed strike three lemon way out in front Bobby Shen strikes out the first man that he faces and here's Earl Batty who popped the third fly to left and single to left he was thrown out attempting to steal in the sixth inning on deck Billy Consolo one out nobody on here in the top of the eighth two one Washington leads Ball inside, ball one. A wind up by the little left hander. Slow curve is over for a called strike. One and one the count. Starting to get a little chilly here at Yankee Stadium. And very cloudy. The 1-1 one pitch is swung at and missed strike two. One ball, two strikes, one out. Fastball popped in the air to the right side. Bobby Richardson moving back on the outfield grass. Under it and makes the catch in fair territory for out number two. Two up, two down, and here's Billy Consolo, who struck out, fouled out to the catcher, and walked. First pitch to Consolo is hit right back to the box, backhanded by Shan, flips to Scar for the out. Boy, does that chance make it look easy fielding out on that mound. So Bobby sets him down, one, two, three, in the top of the eighth inning, nothing across the score at the end of seven and a half innings. Washington two and the Yankees one. This is WOKO. You know, your operator isn't feeding the proper mixture of air and gasoline to the engine, three things happen. Loss of power, rough idling, and actual gasoline waste. The most common cause of poor carburetor performance is the dirt that builds up around the throttle plate. But there's an easy way to get rid of these troublesome deposits for good. Just use new Atlantic Imperial, the gasoline especially designed to clean your carburetor as you drive. Yet with Atlantic Imperial gasoline, you can be sure of getting your full share of power and mileage because it's the gasoline that cleans your carburetor and keeps it clean. the left field for the Washington Senators as we get ready to go in the bottom of the eighth. Leading off is Hector Lopez who fly to center, bounce to second and single. Hey, 
Pedro Ramos out on the mound. Ramos looks at Killerbrew, wants him in a little bit. Here's the windup by the right hander. The pitch is a curve way low outside, ball one. Nothing pitch is swung at and missed strike one. A high fastball on deck. Mickey Mantle. Hector Lopez asks for time at the plate. Talking with plate umpire Al Smith. Now he steps back in, ready to go. Ramos swings into the windup. Fastball a little high, ball two, two and one. The two one pitch is swung at and missed strike two. Lopez had a good cut at that one. Two and two to count. the count nobody out nobody on the pitch a high foul outside of third that's going to drift back near the stands and consolo reaches in but i don't believe he got it no billy consolo the shortstop reached in the stands as far as he could we lost sight of him for a moment but third base umpire johnny rice signaled no catch Two strikes. Time is called just as Ramos starts his windup. Lopez ready again. The two two pitch. Just outside as Earl Batty started to fire that ball down to third base. And Ramos walks in from the mound. A close pitch, but a little bit outside. Full count on Lopez. pitch a ground ball hit the third Killebrew to back here one away and here comes Mickey Mantle Mickey fly to right bounce to second and walk on deck Yogi Berra 2-1 Washington leads here in the bottom of the eighth inning Mickey wants the umpire to take a look at the ball. He does, and he's going to throw it out of play. First pitch to Mickey is low for a ball. Bob Allison playing out on the cinder track in deep right field just in front of the 344 foot sign curve outside ball two two and nothing ramos has walked just one man and that was mantle back in the sixth inning trying to pitch both mantle and bearer outside he pitch yogi outside but yogi slapped two hits to left field there's one way high outside ball three three and nothing nothing pitch 
inside, ball four. Mantle walks for the second time. And that brings up Yogi Berra, who is two for three. Singled in the first inning, and in the sixth inning, and in the fourth inning, he bounced out to first base. <laughs> Beck here holding first against Mantle. the rain again as we told you the clouds have become darker and bigger overhead and with the rain the fans are starting to move back out of the lower box seats Ramos stretches the pitch to Yogi is a strike on the outside corner Washington two, Yankees one, bottom of the eighth. The stretch. The pitch is outside this time, ball one, one and one. Wisenhan doing knee bends out in left field, trying to loosen up a little. Ramos sets. Hits the Yogi low outside, ball two, two and one. Boy, he's really keeping that ball away from these left-hand hitters. On deck is Roger Maris. One strike on Yogi. Pitch is a strike call, and Yogi's mad. He's arguing with plate umpire Al Smith. Yogi did not like that call. Boy, he's telling him that ball is outside, putting the glasses on Yogi, and he is not happy. Pounds the bat on the plate. Two and two the count. Oh, I've never seen Yogi look that mad. Mantle at first, 2-2 two -two count on Yogi, one out. The stretch, the pitch is hit in the air to short right field. Allison digging in, still coming, and they can't get it. Billy Gardner was the closest one to it, but it kicked foul. Allison, who was playing deep, was playing deep on Mantle, is playing deep on Barron, will play deep on Maris. Couldn't get in on that. High, twisting fly ball down the right field line. Two and two on Yogi. Two balls, two strikes, one out. stretch by Ramos. Mantle leading off first. The pitch to Yogi. Outside ball three. Full count. Three balls, two strikes, and one out. And the Yankees trailing by one run. Two to one. Here's the stretch. Go to first base and Mantle has to dive back head first to beat Becker's tag. Ramos figures that Mantle will be going with a 3-2 count, one out. Mickey is yet to be thrown out this year attempting to steal. Here's the stretch. There goes Mickey. The ball is pop foul out of play. Stretch. There goes Mantle again. The ball is lined foul down 
down in the right field corner. Yogi got around on an inside fastball and pulled it about 10 feet foul. Would have been far enough for a homer. Mantle was halfway around a third. He's walking across the diamond now, back to first base. Here's the stretch. There goes Mickey. The ball is hit deep to right field. Way back there. And that ball is a home run for Yogi Berra. gets his fifth home run of the year and puts the Yankees out in front three to two. It's his first home run against the Washington Senators this year on a 3-2 count. Yogi hung in there. And he got a little mad at one of the calls by plate umpire Al Smith and maybe that helped him. But he really put the wood to that one. Here's Roger Maris. A line drive to right field and it gets by. Allison, there goes Maris around first, going for second. And he's in with a double as Allison tried a diving catch of a low-line drive. A double for Maris. And as Allison fired the ball in, it hit Maris in the stomach on one hop, but Rogers all right. Maris has a home run and a double now in the ball game. Yogi is three for four, two singles in a homer. They have five of the Yankees' total of eight hits. And here's Bill Scarron, who's 0 for 3. The Yankees lead 3-2 in the bottom of the eighth inning. Ground ball hits a third. Killebrew up with it, holds Maris at second. Throw to first in time to get Scarron. So with two out here is Gil McDougall. Gil single, bounce to short and bounce to third. One for three. Two men are out. Maris down at second base. is outside, ball one. The stretch and the pitch is popped in the air to short right field. Allison coming in and making the catch. So for the Yankees in the bottom of the eighth, Two big runs on two hits. No Washington errors. One man left to score at the end of eight full innings. The Yankees three and the Senators two. And the National League Cincinnati defeated Philadelphia 5-4. Brosnan the winner. Conley the lose in. The second game is the Philly six. Cincinnati nothing at the end of six. Nuxall against Buzzhart. Del Greco and Anderson home it for the Phillies. Pittsburgh defeated Milwaukee 8-3. Haddock the winner. Spawn the loser. The second game was postponed because of rain. That's the 12th time Milwaukee has had a postponement. Chicago leads San Francisco 2-1 at the end of eight. Elston against Lowe's. And St. Louis at Los Angeles is a night game. And right now, before we start the top of the ninth, let's pause for station identification. Quality Modern WOKO 1460 on your radio dial in Albany, New York. pinch hitting for Pedro Ramos 
with the Yankees leading three to two. And Bobby Shands out on the mound. The first pitch to Vallow is a curve over strike ball. Vallow is two for nine on the year, batting 222, has three runs batted in, putting a left-hand hitter against a left-hand pitcher. Curve a little bit high this time, ball one, one and one. pitch is a curve low ball two two and one three curves that chance is thrown to Vallow these two fellas were teammates on the old Philadelphia Athletics Vallow and Chance. the two one pitch is high inside ball three three and one on deck is Bob Allison out of the batter's box. Now he's back in again, ready to go. Three and one the count. Gallo pinch hitting for Ramos. Three one pitch is fouled back out of play. Back in the upper deck. Kansas City going into extra innings is 6 6 at the end of nine. And that's the first game of a doubleheader. Remember, they're two hours behind our time. Curve inside ball four. He lost him. Bobby Shans tried to curve El Mavallo on a 3 2 pitch and walked him. And a runner, Jose Valdivielso, is running for El Mavallo. bring up Bob Allison Allison bounced to short triple to left field and scored fly to center and then single to center Allison is looking down at third base coach Ellis Clary as Reno Batoya comes out on deck swinging a couple of bats and he'll probably bat for Lenny Green who is due to bat next but we'll wait and see Allison. The right fielder for the center is digging in. Sharon holds first against Valdivielso. Here's a stretch. Fastball high outside. Got away from Yogi for a minute, but then dropped at his feet. Ball one. Looked like Yogi put that glove in front of his eyes and lost sight of it for a second. The ball hit the top of the glove and kicked away. That'll happen once in a while, even out in the infield or outfield. One ball, no strikes. The stretch. Curve is fouled back out of play. And Yogi couldn't get to it. It dropped on the playing field, but was not hit high enough. One and one on, on Bob Allison. has won the first game 2-1. to one. The Yankees lead in this one 3-2 here in the top of the ninth. Here's the stretch by Shans. Fastball high outside. Ball 2. 2-1. Two a stretch by Bobby. Curve popped in the air to the infield. Kubek moving back on the edge of the outfield grass is under it and makes the catch for the first out. 
Now that's a big out for Bobby, getting Allison out of there. Gary Geiger has just home for the Red Sox in the eighth with two on, and they lead Baltimore 12 to 1 after seven and a half innings. Green over Toya just being announced for Lenny Green. Also at first base. Here's a stretch by Shan. Fastball down the middle. Strike call. Batoya is batting 263. Has six runs batted and no extra base hits. Fastball swung at and missed. Strike two. Nothing in two to count. man out. Yankees lead 3-2 in the top of the ninth. Valdivioso leading off first base. Chan sets. Strike three. Swung at a high fastball and didn't get it. Bobby Chan gets his second strikeout. And here is Billy Gardner who has singled walk twice and fly to left field. was Bobby Shan's 16th strikeout of the season and this is his 15th inning of pitching. The fastball is low, ball one. Two men are out, a runner at first here in the top of the ninth and the Yankees leading 3-2. The stretch curve is pop foul out of play. One and one the count. Down. Here's a stretch by the little left-hander. Change a hit. A base hit to center field. Valdivioso holds his second base. Kubek almost got to that ball. As Gardner hit a change up right off the end of the bat. First hit off Bobby Shannon's, the eighth hit for the Senators. And Julio Beck there is the batter. He walked single fly to right and struck out. And Beck there is a left-hand hitter. Stretch by Shan. Curve low outside, ball one. Two out, two on. Here's the stretch. Curve swung and it missed strike one. And boy, what a big curve that was. He missed that by about two feet. Shan's is rough on left handers. He's bad enough on right handers. On deck is Armin Killebrew. One and one on Beck Air. Here's the stretch. High inside and Beck Air sat down. Delayed action. After the ball was by him, he suddenly sat down on the ground. He was leaning in for the curveball and Chance came in with a high tight fastball. That's enough to scare anybody. All right, two balls, one strike. Two out. Valdivielso leads off second. Gardner off first. Three two. The Yankees lead in the top of the ninth. The stretch. Curve is popped to left center field. Mantle digging, digging to his right, and makes the catch, and the ball game is over. Oh, that back there almost did it again, but the Yankees split a double header. And for the Senators in the top of the ninth, no runs, one hit, no Yankee errors, and two men left on base. And so it's an even split. Washington wins the first game 2-1. The Yankees win the second game 3-2. And while Pete's getting the totals ready, we'll remind you that this one was brought to you by the Atlantic Refining Company and your neighborhood Atlantic dealer, the folks who keep your car on the go. Remember Atlantic Imperial Gasoline. 
Now, Phil, let's have those totals, huh? To feel the way they had today, they had the Yankee dugout completely surrounded. Some of the ball players had trouble getting in there. Somebody took Mantle's hat. The uh, ushers and the police never had a chance to hold them back. Here are the totals for the second game. The Yankees, three runs, eight hits, no errors, seven men left. For the Senators, two runs, eight hits, one error, and 11 men left. The winning pitcher, Bobby Shands, getting his first win of the year against one defeat. And the losing pitcher, Pedro Ramos, who has now won two and lost six. Well, that winds up another Yankee baseball game, but tune in again tomorrow night when the Yankees meet Baltimore at Baltimore, and we'll be on the air at 7.55. Now, this is Bob Delaney saying so long for P. Valentine and Sons. Brewers of the Crisp Refresher, Valentine Beer, the largest selling beer in the East. <laughs>